nine ounce fish was two dollars. I got the whole sack and tamales for five. No meat though. <laughs> Usually they have meat in there, so. But this one's kind of sweet, so it must maybe there's a dessert one. <laughs> anyway, you know, hey, what the heck. Hi everyone, this is David with Tigner Adventures and uh, my wife Ninette here and our little cat Tansy. We live in our motorhome full time and today um, we are going to be headed to Mexico. Uh, so we're going to uh, Los Alcadonas, which is the uh, kind of like the dentist uh, capital of Mexico. Right? There's like 500 dentists, right? Within a mile. Within a mile. Yeah, there are a lot of dentists. That's where we get our dental work done. Uh, one of the couples going with us this morning is going to get her eyeglasses done. I had mine done uh, over there, so uh, she's going to get hers done. Uh, we're going to have lunch, so we're going to kind of show you around uh, the whole setup there. So hopefully uh, you won't uh, feel uncomfortable going yourself someday. But uh, we'll kind of show you around and we're going to get going. So we're going to take off and, uh, and see what we can do today. So leaving Yuma and heading towards California, uh, once you uh, go past the flatlands and you're coming up into the little mountains here, then you'll see this sign that says um, exit to Alcadonas. And it talks about the border uh, being closed between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Oh, sorry, that's 6 a.m. <laughs> so, which means that the border opens at 6 a.m. in the morning and then closes at 10 at night. And this sign has always been here uh, so you always want to double check just as you're gonna walk in because they used to have a sign when they were restricting it to uh, 2 p.m. exit they had a sign just before you go to through the turnstiles there was a sign that said you know the border closes at 2 and there's also agents on the left as you're walking through so you can always ask them but uh, now it's uh, 10 p.m. so you've got all day to shop once we take exit then we're going to actually uh, take a left and we're going to head towards the border and as you're um, getting close you'll see this campground that's on the right they just barely put this in and it's kind of empty but it's a good landmark so this campground here and right at the end of the campground you'll see um, where there's a paved road going in and this is a parking lot uh, this is the Indian reservation that you're on right now. And this is a parking lot entrance that the Indian reservation owns. This is where you turn in if you do not want to drive across the border. And you go up there at $6 to park for the day. There's no, um, it says no overnight parking, but I noticed they have a spot that I guess you can pay and they'll put you in there if you do want to do overnight. Uh, but I think that's because you're going to actually stay there. It's not like you're going to camp there. So um, you would just park your rig and you'd stay in Mexico for the night or something like that. All right. So we are at the Mexican border right now. And if you can see behind me here, you can see this is the uh, path headed down to the turnstile. And once you go through this turnstile, you are in Mexico. So. Okay, so there are some landmarks that you want to pay attention to when you're in coming into Las Alcadonas. First of all, there's the Purple Pharmacy on the left. Uh, if you find the Purple Pharmacy and you just follow along the outside of it, you'll end up at the uh, line to get out. This is coming straight into from the entrance to this intersection. And at this intersection is where everything happens. So the Purple Building was on our left. And now if we look down this way, this goes down to the pharmacy, Truly's, Truly's Pharmacy. I'll show you that in a minute. If we go this direction to the left, it goes down towards our dentist and the jewelry store called The Mine. So one thing about Alcadona is, is that about every inch of space in the town is used to try to sell something. And so when you walk down the sidewalks, uh, all the sidewalks have been turned into little stores uh, you don't want to try to go around them because you'd be walking down the street and taking your life in your hands. So just walk down through the little stores. Uh, right here, Ninette had a pedicure done along with uh, her friend Anna. And uh, she said that was pretty good. And in her case, it was uh, $15. 
so you know pretty um, inexpensive and they do a really good job and Ninet had one done in uh, Yuma and she felt like this was the better one uh, so that says a lot and then uh, this guy right here uh, he does really good uh, massages uh, it's ten dollars for ten minutes his massages usually last a lot longer than that so um, but that's what his uh, little sign says and I, so I know he's just trying to do an excellent job, which he does, and just get a good tip. So we, we always tip him well, and he just really does good service. So, so I've had the, the massage done twice now, and uh, it's been great uh, both times. Has to rip you off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I like that. I like that one. At least he's honest. <laughs> There's all these pharmacies everywhere, probably 10 on a block. So you can check prices and everything. Uh, but we uh, have always liked the uh, Turi's Pharmacy. So that's the one we actually like. And uh, if you look here, they've got a brand new one here, so it's really nice. I think they always have a sale on, but they say there's a sale going on. And then we just pan over to the left here. You'll see Snowbird Alley. So Snowbird Alley is a uh, landmark most people know where that's at. If you ask them where Snowbird Alley is or you're talking to your friends that have been here, usually you can always relate to Snowbird Alley. Okay, so we are halfway down on Snowbird Alley. And if you look right behind me there, that, that orange building, that's the uh, eyeglass place we go to. Get a free exam, great glasses. I got my frames and lenses, progressives for 120 total for everything. They also have um, the ones that uh, get dark when you go outside and they are like 160. And let me see if I can get the glare off them. So these are my glasses. So nice looking glasses, $120 total. And then I'm just gonna kind of pan around here and you can see uh, Susanna's restaurant here. It's just a, a little spot here that she's opened up. She's brand new. And so we've been getting chili rianos here. So they've been really good. And this is Susanna. Say hi. Susanna. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so you just started this place up. I did, March. Really great food. We've really enjoyed it, and it's a good lunch. Thank you. Yep. So Thank we'll keep you for coming, coming back. Perfect. And the free margaritas, don't forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got free margaritas, too. You can't forget the free margaritas. We can't forget them. All right. Great. All right. I Thanks. hope to see you. Uh -huh. There, there's the free margaritas. Where's your glass? Fill this one. You notice mine's empty. Oh, very <laughs> here, right next to the right here, is our upholstery shop. So we're having our captain's chairs redone here. We're actually uh, picked out the material, and now we're going to bring our chairs over in a couple days. And as soon as he gets the material, then he'll start uh, reupholstering the our captain's chairs. And then we're also going to redo our um, kitchen chairs. So we inquired about uh, redoing our captain's chairs at the Arizona Marketplace in uh, Yuma. They wanted $800 per chair. This guy's doing them for $330 per chair. And he comes highly recommended and his work looks really good. Um, and our dining set chairs are going to be $45. Hi. Hi. Pharmacy <laughs> buddy, right here. Bed's price, almost free. Almost free, huh? Oh, really? No, not yet. Five dollars for the Alright, we are to the alley. And you know, always these shrimp guys. Look at these big shrimp. Oh, nice. Nice shrimp. How much are they? Nine dollars per pound. Nine dollars per pound. It's a seven dollar per pound. What's the difference? Size. Oh, they're bigger. These are smaller. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, not right this minute. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna take a right here. This is at this alley. So let's see, where's the alley sign? Avenue A. So we're gonna go down this way. This is heading down towards the dentist. And the mine shaft, I think it's called. Take a picture from my shop also because I have new things. All right. Yeah, All right, here on the right is the mine. Best options on jewelry. They have an actual jeweler. All right, so we are inside the mine. And, uh, 
How do you think you like? So, <laughs> one's my look son. around, look around, guys. Right? Do you have yeah. his younger brother? Okay. His two sons. My son. Hello? Uh, I know. Uh, no, no, I already had. They like to uh, get you drunk. <laughs> you're in Mexico, having a good time. You're having a good time, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're the son, right? This is your dad. And Mark, my Papa. 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 And he's the owner of Edmonton, Alberta. So a lot of good reviews on this place. 26 years now. 26 years. So we had a. Started with that room? Where you could cook. How long did you know He's a cook, so he cooked a lot of This is my third time. Third time? Okay. We started out with this little room here. Okay. And then after a couple years, he expanded, and now we, you know, got our workshop. You just keep expanding, taking over one room at a time? Yeah. His little table used to be in the bathroom. His little workshop table. You used to be in the bathroom? In the bathroom, yep. Oh. And now he's got, he's got a whole workshop now. Wow. Go check it out. So you make all these pieces, yes, right? Yes, custom made. These are all sign, sign in pieces by me. We have had several friends now buy uh, jewelry pieces from these guys. And one of our friends back at the resort was telling us about this place. And he said that they took the jewelry they purchased here back to Canada and they had to have it appraised for insurance purposes. And it appraised for the same thing they paid for it or actually appraised for more. So they actually do very quality work. It's not that uh, Mexican silver that you hear about. These guys actually, it is actually pure silver. So these guys are actually uh, very well respected for their work. So find the stone you want and they'll build the jewelry however you want to do it to incorporate the stone. So we have had several friends uh, buy jewelry here and they've been really, really pleased with it. It's not uh, cheap. Uh, most pieces, uh, the minimum has been about $100 and then it's been upwards to about $500, but it's good quality. Okay, coming down the alley, then we see Cynthia's sign all the time and we just take a left right here. Exit. <laughs> Yeah, so the dentist is back here. Most dentist offices seem to be back right behind all the stores. So we are in the office, dental office now, and this is Jose, and uh, he's uh, Cynthia's nephew, right? Yes. Yeah. Both really good dentists. Ninet, this is Ninet's favorite dentist right here, Jose. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, really good service. We love this place and uh, really great prices. So that's why we keep bringing people here to show them, uh, you know, what things are like, you know, because, you know, word of mouth is better, right? Yes, it's of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and your English is really doing good. It is not the... Too well bad, that's why. Too well bad, <laughs> okay. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's good, so. Oh, and uh, so here is our dentist. This is Cynthia, and she usually works on me. <laughs> so, and Jose usually uh, does work on Ninette, but they kind of go back and forth. And I actually said that uh, Jose was your nephew, mm -hmm. but he's your brother-in-law. Yes. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so. And uh, Cynthia is learning English, but she's still learning, right? <laughs> she knows about as much English as I know Spanish. <laughs> but she's super nice, and this is a great dentist to come to. Thank you. So that is our dentist. Three years ago, we came to Alcadona's uh, as new people, and Ninette had a list of uh, a lot of dentists that had been recommended to us. And we uh, found an individual that was on the corner, you know, advertising his dentist, which happened to be for Cynthia. And uh, we talked him into taking us around to all the other dentists. And we checked them all out. And then he says, okay, I've taken you around to all your people. How about at least looking at my dentist? Because she's better. And so it's like, okay, take us to your dentist. And uh, so we went here and uh, Jose actually did his inspection on us. And we talked to them. Uh, we actually had, uh, x-rays from another dentist and we showed them the x-rays and said okay they said we needed um, or at least I needed five root canals and five crowns um, done and they looked at it and says no you only need two root canals and five crowns 
and and then we needed our both of us we needed our teeth cleaned Ninette elected to have one tooth pulled she didn't want it to be a crown uh, because it had to have some extra work on it and she just didn't want to deal with it because she's never had a good experience with dentists in the past and uh, and so um, anyway that whole deal we did uh, it was five hours all in one day we were all done came back the next day got our crown the permanent crowns and it was thirteen hundred dollars so my dentist back in the US wanted over eight thousand dollars and didn't care that I didn't have insurance um, he wasn't giving me a discount at all so these guys we've compared their work we looked at the x-rays of the work that he did back in the US and I have to say that I was not happy with the work that was done by my dentist that said he was the best in the valley and uh, my one crown is on crooked and it's caused a lot of problems and I thought it was just I didn't know why it was that way but uh, now that I've seen the x-rays I can see the type of work that he actually did so we're very happy with our dentist and we'll put her up against any dentist that uh, wants to go head and head with her because she they, they do a really good job and they give you options they don't push the most expensive thing on you so I've showed you the services that we usually get here uh, they do have a lot of cool things you know just I mean people come here to get some jewelry they can get some nice jewelry but there's a lot of other things too you know I mean we've had friends get blankets um, you know they have ponchos they have um, all these different uh, you know creative things that are made and they hang these up around their houses or sit them out in their yards and things so I mean it's really pretty quality stuff and it's really you know inexpensive so this is definitely the place to come the same stuff in the states is considerably more so that's why people come over here and uh, talk to these guys and usually you know the ones in the states don't barter down you can't barter them down but in Mexico it's fun because you just talk to them and and uh, you know like they say almost free or they'll say it's 20 bucks and then you're looking and you just stand there and then pretty soon it's, it's 15 bucks and then they'll say and then you kind of ah, never mind and then you walk away and they go hey oh, uh, five bucks what are you doing guy go, oh, okay, I'm interested. Oh, oh okay ten bucks I got <laughs> so, more on this side guy they kind of just coach okay. back and forth but you know you I'll can have back. a lot of fun with them and they're really super nice people well we have come complete circle and we are back to the purple building we're using that as our landmark. Now, if we just go along this purple building straight ahead, uh, over to the left, you can see that's where we came in. Straight ahead here will take us back to the gate to get out. All right, so this is the entrance for the cars right ahead of us. And as we get up here, you'll be able to see the gate for the pedestrians to go through. So this is the big wall that's the entrance getting back to customs to get across to the US and you can see the line goes quite a ways down the street some days you can wait anywhere from an hour to two hours to get back into the US okay so we are at the end of the line it is 309 um, Arizona time and we're gonna see how long we can get through today uh, it's only about we're not even down to the bathrooms here so uh, probably go pretty fast I'm guessing 45 minutes so we'll see how that works uh, but this is the line to get out of Mexico back into the US so you can see that we are got a little ways to go up to get to the gate to go in uh, they only let a few in at a time and uh, they don't uh, allow any videotaping or pictures or anything uh, beyond that point so I'll catch you on the other side of the wall well we have exited the building we are now on US soil Although I guess we were in the building too. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it took exactly 45 minutes to uh, get through today. So uh, interesting enough, they had uh, only two border agents working. That's how it was uh, this last Saturday it came through. Um, and it took me two hours to get through. So I'm not sure why it was seemed to be moving a lot faster today. Uh, but I have been through there when they had four agents working. So I'm not sure why they've cut back right now. But anyway, the uh, trip is pretty pretty painless. Had a lot of fun with our friends and got to have lunch. That's what's important. And, uh, and kind of showed them around a little bit so they can go back and have fun themselves. So hopefully that helps you uh, see that, you know, this is a lot of fun. You can go over there and uh, everyone's super friendly. So you don't have to worry about any of that.
this time we're going to actually drive into Mexico. So we're passing the, the uh, parking area and we're driving into Mexico. Now you wanna make sure before you come into Mexico that you uh, have insurance. Uh, you have to have Mexican insurance. Even if you have uh, US insurance, um, your policy will say that this will cover you. If something happens to you in Mexico, they'll cover you, but they won't cover anybody in Mexico. So basically you have to get a Mexican policy that's based on the government in Mexico. It says if you're in Mexico, you have to get a Mexican policy. And what that means is if you get in an accident, then they'll cover whoever you got an accident with. It's just liability insurance. Your insurance will probably cover you once you come out of the out of Mexico as you turn it in as a, a claim to get it fixed. Uh, but if you don't have that, we've heard horror stories. You know, they can do all kinds of stuff to you and they can even throw you in jail uh, for not paying them what they want right then when the accident happens. So it's really worth it to get the insurance. And our insurance for the one day going in was 20 bucks. And this was the site that we actually got it at. It was pretty easy to do and it's all online. You don't have to go anywhere or talk to anyone. You just got it and you just carry that paper with you. And so you can kind of see what it looks like here. Um, in our case, the light's green. And so no major issues, but I have seen cars go through there and an alarm goes off and the light blinks red. Um, but uh, in any case, they'll still stop you and they'll just kind of ask you what you're doing and uh, look in your car. Um, uh, that's pretty easy to get in. What? Where are you going? Uh, to get our seats upholstered. Here in the town. How many days? Uh, just one. And just go back? Mm -hmm. Then, yep. Okay. Thank you. Now, we're going in this time. We're driving this time because we are taking our captain's chairs in to the upholsterer shop. And so we've kind of already mapped out our route of how to get there. Um, easily, but other than that, it's not any different than driving in the U.S. So um, it's not like people are looking f to get in an accident with you. So you don't have to worry about that too much. I think everyone cares about their stuff just as much as you care about yours. Are you guys open today? Yes, it's open now. We close at three thirty. These are the best couples. This is the best. The best. Yes, it is. Okay, four fish taco. Thank you, thank you. Oh, here. Get me in. Ooh, it looks good. All the fixings. Make it the way you like it. Yep, make it the way you like it. Make it. Okay, the best fish and shrimp tacos. These are algodones, Baja California. <laughs> This is almost 23 years, stay here. This open in the morning, 8.30, then we close at 3.30 in the afternoon. afternoon. That's it. Seven days a week? No, this is open on Monday to Saturday. Monday to yeah, Saturday. then we close on Sunday. What okay. is the best selling taco? Okay, no, fish, and shrimp. Shrimp. fish and shrimp. Fish and shrimp. Fish you shrimp. got beef, fish, and shrimp. Great, we like the fish. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it is time to leave Mexico, and it really makes a difference on what time you leave as to how long you've got to wait. And of course, we waited till it's now 2.20 that we're leaving, and uh, so we waited to the rush hour, basically. So we have just about almost a mile and a quarter before we can get out uh, the gate. And so it's backed up that far today. This is going to take us a while. Don't know how long, but never been this way before, this first time driving in. So we'll see how this works out. But we have now gone across the river, so we're really not even in Alcadona's at the moment. And uh, we just have to work our way uh, down through the town. How much? How much? Five. What's uh -huh. that? Uh -huh. We got these tamales for five dollars. We don't know anything about them, but that's what it's like when you come into Mexico. They're all good. 
All right, so we got these tamales while we're sitting here in line. Check it out. I'll eat just about anything. Yeah, I'll eat anything. Our friend used to make these all the time. They were really good. I think it's like 100% lard. <laughs> Let's see how it is. It's all corn. It's all corn. Mm. Anything in it? <laughs> corn. There's no meat in it. Mm. <laughs> Looks like it's all corn. <laughs> hey, don't smash my tamale. Sweet. That's sweet. sweet. Maybe they were dessert tamales. You never asked him what it was. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he didn't speak English, so it's kind of difficult sometimes to know what you're actually eating. Ninette's fish was two dollars. I got the whole sack of tamales for five. No meat though. <laughs> Usually they have meat in there, so. But this one's kind of sweet, so it must maybe there's a dessert one. <laughs> anyway, you know, hey, what the heck? We've been sitting here for how long? <laughs> Trying to get out of Mexico. So might as well keep our uh, strength up. <laughs> Don't buy the bottle of stuff that that guy has. <laughs> we'll have to uh, talk to the, the dentist next time, because at least Jose, or actually, the uh, receptionist speaks really good English. And they're always coming around with tamales so maybe we'll have to uh, ask her and what the deal is on these and get a little bit better story and understand more about it but you know how food is in the u.s that's not really a lot of it's not mexican food it's the idea of mexican food so things are always a little different in actually mexico so we found that out when we were actually uh spending time in uh just above playa de carmen Puerto Morales. We stayed there for a while. Went to the little fishing village there and ate and had a lot of fun. So things were definitely a little different. But anyway, not bad. Well, we have finally made it to the wall. Up here on the left, you can see the uh, place where people start standing in line. That's where they get in line to get out through the border crossing, you know, walking. So there's nobody in those lines, but we have been going since, uh, let's see, it's been two hours now that we've been just creeping along in the car. So the longest that we've waited in line when I was all the way back to this point was two hours. And they had two border agents working the desk. And they could have had four, but they only have two. I don't really know what the issue is, but now we've been in the car We've been in the car for two hours and it'd be interesting to see how many uh, people are up there checking in cars but i think there's only one line going through and it has been very slow going we still have a, at least another hundred yards to go before we can get to the the place where we actually go through the border but it is in sight, so that's a good thing. It is right down there, uh, if I can turn far enough around, right down there towards the end where you see those green lights is where you turn and then go across the border. So we're getting pretty close, pretty exciting. We'll finally get done. <laughs> so, well, we have made it up to the front of the line. And right up here, we turn and go around the corner. And like when we were inside, we can't videotape. So we will catch you guys on the other side now as we, uh, when we get over to the US. All right, well, it only took us two and a half hours to uh, from that far end. Oh, it was like three. No, came out, came out to two and a half and seemed like six. 
anyway we're we're through so uh that's good we've shown you uh, two different ways to go through the border and back um probably walking is a lot a lot faster i think unless you depend on the time you're going to exit actually so anyway um i guess that uh, ends this uh, we'll go ahead and just end this video at that and uh, i think overall we we feel it's pretty safe i've actually been to mexico now for the last uh, five weekends in a row um, so i definitely need to take a break but our our chairs will be done in a week so we have to come back in a week to get those we're going to have our kitchen chairs done too and so then we'll have to come back the week after that so we still got a little bit more time to keep coming back and forth but uh, at this point we'll just say our goodbyes and uh, we'll just say that we hope you to see you guys down the road somewhere and hopefully it'll be on our next video so take care